Hi, I'm Drew Murray. I'm a Republican running for city council at large. Okay, so I grew up on the main line, and I, and I oftentimes go back to the main line. I will take the R5. Now, I don't know if I call that my favorite because when I go to the Eagles game, I do take the Broadway line. So that's probably what I use the most is the Broadway line down to the Eagles games. So I'm the president of the Friends of Cox Park. So I absolutely, without a doubt, have to say Cox Park, which is a block from my house, is my favorite green space in the city of Philadelphia, even though most of it is hardscape, but we'll call it green space. <laughs> okay, so I, I have two daughters, Scarlett and Alexandra. They are in their freshman year and eighth grade year. I have four cats. Now we started out with two, then we had our pandemic cat, like a lot of people had. And then about a year ago, my wife was driving down the Benjamin Franklin Parkway and saw a little ball in the middle of the road and got out of the car and realized it was a kitten. We had every intention of giving that kitten, or bringing that kitten, I should say, to Morris Animal Refuge, but it was a Thursday, it was closed, and by the time we went to uh, think about bringing our little nutmeg to Morris the next day, it was it was not gonna happen, and I will be the first to admit I was the one who said we're not giving her away. I work out a lot, although I, I was thinking this week I only worked out one day. I, I like to go to the gym, I lift, I played football my entire life growing up in high school, grade school, high school, and football. So I, I didn't end football, in grade school, high school, and college. So I still lift and I still work out and uh, I've torn my ACL twice, so I don't do too much running anymore, but I do a lot of biking up and down the school trail. Well, I'm a season ticket to the Eagles for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm a season ticket holder for the Philadelphia Eagles, I should say. So it, it's gotta be Swoop. So there was just a landmark decision in the state of Pennsylvania that said the way we fund our schools uh, was unconstitutional. So that's the first thing. As a Republican, I would go to Harrisburg and I would make sure that the fair funding formula is more fair for the students in the city of Philadelphia. And that means also going backwards and seeing if there are additional funds that we can get for capital expenditures in order to get all of the asbestos out of our school. Now, I am also a believer in the charter school systems. So in order to make sure that our students are educated the best manner they can, it can't be by zip code, and charter schools helps ensure that by making sure Every student, every parent has the ability to find a school that is best for them. First off, uh, absolutely, crime is number one, two, and three on everyone's priority. I know this because I ran in 2019 and I can see the difference. Uh, but I think the first thing we do is not necessarily from a legislative standpoint. We need to go to our district attorney's office and make sure that that person, District Attorney Larry Krasner, is doing his job. We need to start prosecuting criminals. We need to make sweeping uh, arrest in the drug trade because that's where all the gun violence is most of it is is, is coming uh, from a legislative standpoint there's not much we can do honestly from a gun standpoint everyone asks me what am i going to do about gun control that is to be honest with you that is a state issue the city of philadelphia does not have the ability to regulate our own guns so from a legislative standpoint it is really difficult now in order to for the long-term goals of reducing violence, we need to reduce our poverty rate, and we need to do that through lower taxes and better economic opportunities for Philadelphians.